Well, Christmas is almost upon us, and if your home is like mine, I'm always thinking of ways to make the season really meaningful. And my friend Lisa Robertson is joining me right now because we want to talk with you about Advent, an age-old tradition, but one that still has meaning to a family today. Share a little bit, Lisa, about what Advent is. Advent is the season in the church calendar that begins four weeks before Christmas. And it's a time of preparation, and it's a time of talking about the coming of Christ as an infant in the manger, and also when he comes again in the second coming in glory. Mm -hmm. So it's all about coming towards. This is a very significant event in your home. I've known you for many years, and I know that your family celebrates this each day of the four weeks before Christmas. And there's a sense of anticipation that right. comes with this in a family. One of the things I love about Advent is I feel like it's God's gift to us because it is a time where we can pause, we can reflect, mm -hmm. we can really begin to think about what Christmas really is. It's, yeah. a, it's a lot more than the chaos that we've come to expect. And we put the wreath on our kitchen table where we go through the devotional. We light one candle the first week, two candles the second week, and we really learn about you what Advent is. You follow through the mm -hmm. whole process. But before we go to the candles, let's talk a little bit about what this means, because this isn't just a pretty wreath that you set on your table. Right. There's symbol to all of right. this. Right, there is. It's all very significant. The wreath is round because it symbolizes eternal life, and we reflect on that's the life that we have in Christ. It's green because that also is an image of eternal life, and then we have holly berries in it because the red berries indicate and remind us of the drops of blood that Christ shed for us. The other thing is the wreath is also in the shape almost of a crown, ah, like the yes. crown of thorns. Mm -hmm. Now, this is beautiful and magnificent. Some of this is alive, and you got it out of your yard, which people can be very creative doing, and some of it you've added on to with. Yes, you can add anything. Some years I have hydrangeas, some years I don't. It depends on what's growing in my garden and how it looks. Well, it looks beautiful today, I'll say that, but I want you to know the significance of this isn't the size or the beauty of the wreath, no. it's the message behind it. And that really begins to come our way through the lighting of the candles each week. Mm -hmm. Talk about the color of the candles and what that means. Well, the color purple is the main uh, Advent color, and the first thing that's important about it is it represents the royalty of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, purple is a royal color. Another reason it's important is that purple is also the color of repentance. And so in the Advent season, one of the things that's important is not only just to celebrate Christmas and to prepare our hearts, but to really think about the things in our to lives. Reflect. That, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To reflect and to really ask the Lord to just help us become more who He wants us to be. The third reason purple's uh, important is because one of the symbols of Advent is light. And right before the sun comes up, you'll have a purple sky, and it's a proclamation yes. of the sun that is just about yeah. to rise. And I think that's very significant. The purple would be just proclaiming Christ coming. The now, pink, you've got a pink is one. the, uh, they, some people call it the Mary candle. It can be called joy. There's a passage in the Bible that talks about Jesus being the Rose of Sharon. Mm -hmm. And so pink has several different meanings. And then the white candle is the last one and you light, and that represents the purity of Christ. So you you say this is the last one that mm -hmm. you light. So each of these, you begin where? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you begin the with... Four weeks out. The, the four first weeks one. before Christmas, you begin with a purple candle. And what we would do at our house is I would put a wreath on the table, and we would sit down at dinner time, and we would light one purple candle for the entire week. The first week, we talk about the prophecies. There are four, over 400 prophecies in the Old Testament proclaiming the coming of Christ. And so we would just prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ, learn about the prophecies of Christ. The second week, we would light two purple candles and light two candles for the entire second week. And then we would read about the hope mm -hmm. that is in Christ. The third week, we would light the pink candle, the joy candle. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the joy of the Lord is our strength and the joy that Christ brings us. And then the fourth week, Again, we light the last fourth candle and we talk about worship and learn about one of the things I think is important about worship is we think of worship as something you do in church. Mm -hmm. You know, you worship and then you hear the message. And I think that worship is a way we should live. Yes. And we learn about just worshiping the Lord in just very simple and intimate ways. So then on Christmas morning, you would light all, all of, of these them. and... The Christ candle, the but Christ. we really light the Christ candle oftentimes on Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve, unless we're too busy, and then we light it on Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. And by then, you have a, a wreath that is filled with light, yes. and I think that that's representative of just yeah. the light of Christ that comes into the world. Now, this actually becomes a pause in your day, yes. a moment of family spent together, yes. focused on what the season is all about. You've put together a great little Advent book that has actually daily devotions that people can follow each right. day, so you don't even have to think 
make up this stuff by <laughs> yourself. Lisa's done the work for you. 60 and, seconds yeah. or less. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also got uh, some advice here on how you can put a simpler wreath together if you'd like. And this wreath can be of your Anything. own creation mm -hmm. or whatever you want it to be. But what's really important is the family time spent together focusing on Christmas, the Christmas message, and anticipating, celebrating the coming of Christ. Lisa, thank you. I thank love you. the message this brings, the thank message you. of hope and celebration. For the Merry holidays. Christmas. Thank you. And to you too. And to you. We'll be back with more after this.